In the previous video, we had a look at integrating YUP with React hook form. We were able to specify a validation schema, tie it to our form, and validate the form values. In this video, let's see how to do the exact same thing with Zod. Zod is a TypeScript first schema declaration and validation library. Now, you may ask what is the difference between YUP and Zod, but that is out of scope for the series. Please read up when you have the time. This video will only focus on the integration aspect. For code setup, I'm going to create a new file within the components folder. Zod YouTube form .tsx. I'm going to copy paste the code from Yup YouTube form and rename it to Zod YouTube form. Next, I'm going to install the Zod package. npm install Zod. At the top, import Zod instead of Yup. Import Z or Z from Zod. Make sure to also import Zod Resolver instead of Yup Resolver. From hookform slash resolvers slash Zod. For the schema, I'm going to start fresh. Const schema is equal to Z dot object. This accepts an object where we specify Username z dot string dot non empty. The error message is username is required. If the validation fails, email is going to be z dot string dot non empty. Email is required is the error message. And we also call dot email to ensure the proper format. Email format is not valid. Finally, we have channel z dot string dot non empty channel is required. Please refer to the Zod documentation for more information on how to write the individual rules. It's also worth noting that email format is at the end, whereas it was at the beginning for Yup. Finally, change the resolver to Zod Resolver. Let's change the heading to Zod YouTube Form, open app.tsx, import Zod YouTube Form, and head back to the browser. Submit. And we see the non empty error message. Enter an invalid email format, and we see the other error message. We have successfully integrated Zod with React Hook Form. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.